Hello, friend is Boris here, and today I will navigate you through the jungle of settings in FC24. First out, we have the preset, which must be competitive if you play competitive game modes like Foot Draft for Champions and Rivals. But if you just want to chill and play some offline, let's say career mode, this could be on preset custom here. And then you can enjoy benefits like auto shots, uh, headers unassisted. And also this one that is quite the big difference, which is called here contextual dribbling. Could be on as well, but on competitive, this will be turned off automatically. So we take here competitive, and then this is off, of course. Uh, short assistance, I think the best one still assisted. There's now a new thing called the precision, which has been uh, quite hyped by EA. I tried this out, and it's difficult from tricky angles. Uh, could be though, of course, useful if you master it, but still, it takes uh, so much energy from a gameplay. That's why I think the best one is assisted, combined with the time finishing on. This is useful this year, definitely. So I think this is the best combination with assisted and time finishing on. A passing setting here, through pass and low through pass. That is triangle pass and triangle L1. The best one I think this year is semi. We can also here try out manual. I think both are fine. There's only here two options. There's no assisted, which I think is good. But the best one then, I think this year is semi on both. Grab pass assistance. This one I think must be assisted. Otherwise it is uh, too challenging. A semi is difficult, a manual is almost impossible. That's why I think this is the best one. And for crossing, both semi and assisted is great. But this year's crossing on assisted is very, very powerful and very meta indeed. So I think the best one this time again is assisted. And then we have this one, low pass, which is for, well, a square pass that is not a cross. Let's say if you switch sides, then this one comes into play. And the best here again, I think, is assisted, unfortunately. Assisted, 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 but we live in an AI world and if you don't use this, I guess you're being left behind. So that is the best here, just assisted, otherwise you will be in disadvantage. Pass receiver lock, late I think is the best one here. If you have a bit less ping, let's say less than 50 ping, that is the best option. Then you can just here divert the direction in the last moment if you see the opponent is about to cut off your pass. That's why I think late is the best, otherwise if you have high ping, you can try out here animation start or power up. But otherwise, uh, default here late is definitely the best option. And uh, this one here is new as well, coming with the new feature, precision passing. And uh, normal is default and I think fine. But if you feel like this isn't uh, manual enough, then you can try out here high as well. But normal is definitely fine. Defending, we have here clearance assistance. Uh, default is directional and also I think the best option. Here you can uh, control your clearance slightly and choose direction. This one classic, you just clear randomly. That's why I think this one is better called here directional. And now pay attention, this is so important. Default here on defending is advanced, which is new. And this one separates here the two features uh, with the uh, stand tackle and a seal out, aka a shoulder challenge. It is now separate with this one. If you want to make a seal out, you must press X. And stand tackle, you must press circle. It is then, uh, yeah, just separate. While this one, which is a previous setting from last FIFA, called tactical defending, in this one, the game will choose for you contextually if you press circle, either seal out or stand tackle, and that is much, much easier. That's why I think this one should be changed here to the previous system, tactical defending, that's better. And then passbook assistance, well, on extra AI doesn't hurt you. And then switching, the best one, I think, is air balls and loose balls. You have your manual as well, which is uh, impossible to then defend crossing, which is this here, so powerful. Air balls also fine. Uh, automatic, uh, there's no way to play this. The best one, I think, is this combination of air balls and loose balls. Auto switching is a quite big thing here. You can try out both low and non, and both are fine. Uh, low is a bit easier to here defend two balls, and uh, non gives you better structure in defense, with the players being a bit more firm to their positions. And most pro players here are using none. That gives you simply the better structure in defense. And then switching, you have here rotation, you have uh, adaptive, but the best one I think still is classic. That is uh, the old school way and the best uh, still. Uh, reference, ball or player, default is player and I think makes uh, more sense. And then you have this one, a new setting, which is called Wastic switching sensitivity. And here you can try out yourself and see what fits you. Four is default. I don't think there's any reason it's changing, but if you like, you're not satisfied with your switching, and that there's something wrong with your sensitivity, then of course you could tweak, but 4 again I think is definitely fine. Next player switching, this one here is new with uh, closest to ball and uh, goal side. 
goal side is quite interesting because always switching to the player that is behind the ball towards your goal that's also a good option but i think the best one still is classic here where the player being l1 switched to is determined by various factors i think that's easier a uh, player log on a great feature and icon switching just i think off sometimes you hit that by accident and that's going to be quite distressful and confusing that's why i think off is easier it is not the best feature and then there's new dribbling called the orbit dribbling i mean you can have this one off or on doesn't matter but this uh, dribbling is hard to activate and is uh, quite frankly not the best look at this i mean <laughs> what's the point of this i cannot see it yet and then goalkeeper save assistance this one has no impact whatsoever on your online goalkeepers just your game modes we control the keeper yourself so yes your manual semi assisted doesn't matter it has no impact on your online goalkeeper and a big question analog sprint off or on i think off is easier then you can just press down the sprint button slightly or two and you get still full sprint speed if you have this one on on you must press down fully otherwise it won't be full sprint speed but some people might argue that this gives you more um, well layers in defending having this one on on but i think you have still enough layers you can just uh, jog normally you can uh, jockey you can speed jockey so i think you have enough um, ways to control your speed so off i think definitely is fine and in my opinion as well the best option and then trigger and vibrations here just turn off that's off that is just disturbing and nothing else we leave that for adult websites cameras 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 said the best i think still is a corp and also telebroadcast uh, corp is good if you are a bit more based towards uh, possession you get uh, a nice overview but also lose a bit of the player and pitch feeling um, with being so zoomed out that's why i think the best one is the telebroadcast and also used by most pro players it gives you both overview and also your a nice feeling of the pitch zoomed in it can ease your assets the dribbling passing and tackling so i think this one is the best one and then you have custom uh, height i think the best on 10 and zoom on zero if you have here height on uh, 20 you don't see as much of the width of the pitch you can here compare 20 and 10 you can see how 10 gives you simply more width and then we have a new option called the foresight focus and same here and uh, zero is the best to give you the best possible overview and ball tracking speed this one just is zero otherwise you'll get the motion sickness at 20 will make you just go mad so yeah definitely zero and last out we have here penalty area zoom and the same here the best is on zero to get the best possible overview and one last thing on camera and that is a power shot zoom this one easier definitely if you have it on off otherwise the zooming might be disturbing and might cause you here to miss aim so off is definitely easier and then we have uh, this visuals and it's of course up to you it is very individual but for hd i think the best one is player name and indicator to see simply who's on the ball that is some great information and then the size here i think default is large you don't need that uh, default here the small text is definitely better and this one play styles plus uh, overhead indicators uh, i think uh, off is fine you don't need to see who has a playstyle plus on the pitch you should know that before the game this one could be a bit annoying and a bit confusing having on in the game and this one i prefer off otherwise you will have two indicators on the pitch and that could be sometimes confusing and could be sometimes as well mistaken for your active defender in stressful moments that could be yeah in the end devastating that's why i think off is easier you need only one indicator uh, and then up to you of course with these things here and with the clock and with the visuals but this one i think though is nice to have and that is visuals for position passing that is definitely useful with this new feature radar and colors up to you of course and net tension and meshing up to you but this one though i think definitely turned off with these new graphics hyper motion inside overlays that could be very annoying so this one turn off and also in game there's one last change you could only make in the in game menu that is going to trainer put this on show take all these off except for offset indicator this one is very useful this one we take on it is very good all right that is it for today hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful see you guys again tonight for the rtg thank you so much for watching as always you know until next time take care